In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 87 by finding a tenths place decimal approximation. To do this, we need to look at perfect squares near 87. An example of this is 9 squared, which is 81, and 10 squared, which is 100. We can see that 87 lies between 81 and 100. We can write the following inequality. 81 is less than 87, which is less than 100. Now we can take the square root of all of these values. The square root of 81 then turns into 9, because 9 squared is 81. The square root of 100 then turns into 10, because 10 squared is 100. Now we can see that the square root of 87 lies between 9 and 10. However, 87 is a lot closer to 81 than it is to 100. So the square root of 87 will be closer to 9 compared to 10. So we can try out values such as 9.1, 9.2, or 9.3 and square them to see how close we can get to 87. Here we'll do a 9.3. Let's find out what 9.3 squared is. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Add our 0. 9 times 3 is 27. Carry our 2. And then 9 times 9 is 81. Plus 2 is 83. When we add these together, we end up getting 86.49, which is very close to 87. So we can round it to 87 and say, 9.3 squared is approximately 87. We could have chose to do 9.4 squared, however, we would have found that 9.4 squared is further from 87 than 86.49 is, so we chose to stick with 9.3 squared. Now we can take the square root of both sides here, and the square root will cancel the squared, and we get 9.3 is approximately the square root of 87, which is our approximated answer.